Unfortunately, I did not know Leonid Kogan as well as David Oistrach. Kogan, an artist who, at the height of his powers, could transcendentally dazzle and awe one of the truly great Soviet-trained violinists to come to these shores. Tonight, I will present to you small and not so small violin pieces, which are popular and important in the repertoire of any concertizing violinist. Let's first start with Melody by Tchaikovsky. This has been one of my favorite pieces since childhood. It has always attracted me because of its melodic qualities. I love the Serenade Melancholique and the Valse Scherzo also. I am forever grateful to Tchaikovsky for exposing the true vehicle for the showcasing of violent sonority. Tchaikovsky, Valse Scherzo. When I was a child, I really enjoyed the Valse section more than the Scherzo because it's evidently easier for the young to relate to a dance. But later on, I developed a feeling for the Scherzo, and I hope not to disappoint you. Thank you. 
Glazunov's Entracht from the Ballet Remonde. My first piece of Glazunov was the Violin Concerto. Often performing this composition, I decided to learn some other of his works. In the Entracht, I am trying to imitate two clarinets as in the original score. Максимально подражать этим кларнетам в их звучании, в их темпе. Thank you. 
сердце Брамса. Оно написано Брамсом по совсем необычному поводу. Это одна из частей сонаты. Брамс Керцо. A movement from the sonata, written by three composers. Это было написано тремя. It is interesting to note the story behind this composition. This is a movement of a sonata written by Schumann, Dietrich and Brahms as a gift for Clara Schumann's birthday. She recognized immediately that this work was indeed written by all three of them. But the scherzo is a beautiful work alone. It is a birthday wish set into notes rather than words.
Фриц Крейслер. Великий скрипач 20 века. Он же композитор, Фриц Крейслер, сочинивший много the great violinist and composer, wrote his music mostly for himself. Надо сказать, что он сочинял Among these small compositions, his three valses take a special place. They are so Viennese, so Straussian, so turn of the century in their old world charm. I will now perform for you Joy of Life. Сейчас я сыграю вам вальс «Радость любви». Niccolò Paganini, the name Paganini conjures to us the ultimate in violin virtuoso showpieces. His works are most difficult. Since my youth, I always wanted to play as many as I could. I will now play for you these variations. Interestingly, this work was never originally printed. It was his friend and student, the German violinist Gur, who heard it in a concert and only wrote it later for memory.
Next is the Waxman Variations from Bizet's Carmen. I must say, I really prefer the Waxman arrangement over the Sarasati. Of course, the Sarasati arrangement is so much more well known. However, the Waxman rendition was always a challenge and a great joy for me. This piece is so full of emotion and difficulty. I do hope you enjoy it.
At the time of the English version of this Russian production, Leonid Kogan is no longer with us. It is with special joy that this very rare testament of Leonid Kogan's enormous artistry is made available. This is Eric Friedman. I have had the privilege to narrate and annotate it, and I am grateful. <laughs>